game of moving bodies. All right, all right. What's up, everybody? Woo! Yeah. So we're going to play a game called moving bodies, right? So in this game, we're going to need two volunteers. All right? Go ahead, right, guys. Raise your hand. We need some volunteers, guys. Raise your hand if you want to play. We got someone over here. That guy over there. Great. Awesome. Good job. Good job. What's your name? Give it up for our volunteers. Come on up. Your name? Kelsey. Give it up for Kelsey. Ben. Ben. Give it up for Ben. Nice. So with this game, guys, we're going to start the scene like a regular scene, but our two volunteers are going to be instrumental. They're going to be moving the actors. They're going to be moving the actors. So they can come over and grab the arm and hold it there, it will stay there, and they will have to continue the scene in that position, and you can continue to move them as much as you want. Now, there's four actors in total. As the actors come in, you have to, you're in charge of moving every actor. Okay, so you're gonna be busy. So it's an important job. You guys get it? Why don't we have a little, uh, have a try. Just All right, go ahead, hands up. Go for it. Woo! Yeah, okay, awesome. And if you want to move the legs, you can grab them by the knee, and that's how you can get them to walk around. All right, Ooh. guys, this is a big deal, big deal, all right? <laughs> so we need a suggestion, guys. So what is your favorite summer activity? Fishing. Like, I heard fishing. <laughs> this scene will be inspired by fishing. All right, uh, so we'll see that movie body scene inspired by fishing from a blackout in three, three two, two, one. Woo. Welcome to the fishing store. <laughs> Fishing rod. I, I can see that, man. We have them right there. I would, if you can, just try not to use the products in the store. It drives our people quite insane. I just need a lot of practice. I'm just not really good at fishing. I, I that is evidence. Your form was terrible, but we can teach you. We can make you better here. But first, we gotta find you the perfect rod. How do we do that? Well, First, we just gotta walk over to the rod section, right over to our right. <laughs> a lot of rods here. And here we are. Here, you'll see our Super Fisher 907. Wow, do you think that I'm advanced enough for that? Really, it's for everyone. <laughs> Like you need something? Uh, I'm looking for a rod. Do. <laughs> yes, your stance shows that you are a professional. Did you just need a new rod because you broke your last one? Uh, yeah. Just, you know, I'm just not really a good fisherman, you know. I don't. I, mean, I need instruction. Well, I here at Fisher's Rods, we want to make our customers feel safe. My name, in case neither of you know, is Steve. Wow, Steve, it's you're really helpful with fishing stuff. It is my passion in life. I feel that kind of love. I feel it. I feel your passion. All right, why don't both of you just take out a rod and let's see how you do. Excuse me, I need yes, a passionate sir. fishing instructor. I can't quite see you right now. I'm over here. I'm over here. the other customers, I can help you as well. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm used to fishing with regular fishermen, but I can sense your passion, and I want that. <laughs> We're going to do uh, a scene, if you see yeah. the whole night. Uh, the only thing is, uh, John is going to ring the bell. It's a game called Should Have Said. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a game called Should Have Said. I should have said that. I should have said that. It's a game called Should Have Said. And John is going to ring the bell if there was something else that we should have said. said. Exactly. So we need to get some inspiration from you. So uh, tell me something that you like to order when you go out to eat. Pasta. I heard pasta. So this scene is going to be inspired by pasta. All right? We'll see that if we're back out in three, two, one. Oh, Mama Zita, I love it. I love it, I love the sausage. I love it in your cooking. You know, I'm not really as good of a cook as you, but I've been 
I'm not really. Uh, I just <laughs> love your cooking. <laughs> well, Mamacita, that's why we are married, because we both love each other's cooking. No, oh my god, you're so happy together. The food, the pasta, the kissing, the rubbing. So <laughs> I mean, what if we tried to cook something together, like at the same time? Oh, no, mom. <laughs> speaking in utter gibberish. And then when he dings it again, we'll go back to English. All right, Have, yeah. Can I get a suggestion? How about something you could fit in a sock that's not a foot? Soap. Right. Right. I heard Why? soap. So this scene will be inspired by soap. <laughs> See that in three, two, two one. one. Mommy, I don't want to shower. Johnson. It is time for you to get ready for college, you know. I cannot You can't go to come here. Let me taste this little bit of my stew that I cooked for you. What's well, porridge? <laughs> oh, what does my baby say? Mama, you have outdone yourself. This is delicious. <laughs> well, I say now it's good. I say, wash your hands. I said I don't want to wash my mama. Go to college all dirty like that. I want to be dirty, Mom. <laughs> I like who I am. I love who you are too, but it is time for you to clean yourself. Hey, hey, listen to your mother. That's you right. Problems, kid. <laughs> Me, mother, when? it's not going to work any further. Yep. I'm going to be a minute, 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 a minute,
point during that scene, John is going to yell out an emotion, an accent, or any different type of characteristic that we have to take on. So we're going to continue doing the scene as normal, um, but we're just going to embody those characteristics or accents that he says for us. Uh, we are going to need an inspiration for this scene, so how about what you guys have in your kitchen? Do love my shakes, Sheila. They are the best. <laughs> I take a bit with my nose first, just to get that. <laughs> Freeze. Delighted. Delighted. I just love that you drink it up your nose like that. Phenomenal. <laughs> I know. It's the best way to drink a shake. You get that nose flavor in, then you drink it with your tongue. It's <laughs> well, baby, I know you're getting ready to go to the gym and all, so let me get you your little protein shake on. Thank you. Freeze. Frightened. Frightened. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is the best shake I've ever had. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to do with the cup. Throw it in the sink. Throw it in the sink. So it gets clean. Okay. French. 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 <laughs> what do you think, go? Huh? Well, now it's broken. <laughs> Are you ready to go to the gym right now? Well, hello, Francisco. We're going to the gym soon. Uh, let's go. I Freeze. To... Nauseous. Nauseous. I want to work out my uh, biceps. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you have a shake that will help your biceps? <laughs> I made this one for you, so you won't throw up. Drink it on the... <laughs> oh, and it's just nauseating. It's so good. Freeze. <laughs> British. British. Wait. <laughs> what have you got here? Oh. Look at this, it's a little remedy for the stomach, eh? That tastes fantastic, it tastes like honey tea. Yeah. Well, I think that will help you right out. I'm the one who invite me to the gym. All I do all day is make you shakes. Freeze. Sad. Sad. Because we have goals, and we know that you're going to hold us back. What the frick? Oh. <laughs> Don't bug. You just I don't think you can get that with us. You can't keep up. I heard you guys were going to the gym without. I know. Irish. Irish. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> they don't let the girls go at all. <laughs> all your girls do. I'm a bunch of chauvinists. Yeah, where are you going to get your potatoes? <laughs> Freeze. Seductive. Seductive. I can lift weights too. You want to know where I'm going to grab potatoes from? 